you vibing with things of that nature, stay tuned for more. You owe it to yourself. This is Ruckus. I'm out. Yo, what's up with it, folks? Cal Grizzly, the chef, most of the time, Chef D. Thing one, left coach Kings, what's good? What's up, thanksters in the world? This is Doc Madness, known as Thing Two, Mad Mad Smooth, Sweatshop Recordings, and Demolition Men Productions. And you are now tapped in and experiencing the one, the only D and Doc on things of that nature. Where you owe it to yourself to stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. What's good with it, folks? Ah, uh, man. You know, another blessing, man. Another blessing. Another episode. Man, trucking right along. How about yourself? Oh, uh, man. Ain't no complaints. Just chilling, you know, dealing with this wild weather we got out here. <laughs> but, I mean, it's all good. I'm hearing, bro, but you know what? We need it, and I'm sure it'll keep your ass indoors a little bit so you can get some rest and relaxation. How about that? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> That's the yeah. do, okay. Man, what we got on today's agenda? I know we got a packed show, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we always do, man. We got a, man, my my my, my relative, bro, Ruck Dog, Ruckus. Um, he's going to come on here and bless us with um, some of his experiences this is going to be on unfiltered combos. We're going to have some just good conversation and dialogue and, and uh, tap into some of his experiences. And he's a good character, man. So, you know, basically um, impromptu type dude, bro. So anything that comes out of his mouth is to me, you know, growing up around him, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people is <laughs> like, yeah, he's a wildcat like that. But love him. That's love him. Yep. Yeah. That's what's up. But before we get into unfiltered combos, we're going to take a quick break. So, let's see. We're working on gold big. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of trying to figure out in my head how the hell that's going to start off. The money feel better when you grind it for it. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got that now. Yeah. That's how that would go. You Feel better when you grinding for it. Real words from a crib, stay down for it. Rejuvenate in the game, we drinking rounds for it. And if you smoke a lot of kush, buy some pounds for it. Gotta sacrifice it all just to land on it. Show up and then turn the whole show out. They say they had it, I was in the peak planet. 85 Belco, I'm in a hood smashing. A pretty little thing, bout to nail her with this hammer. And it's death to a snitch, free my brothers out them slammers. South side village crippin', 456 this. East side neck landing, Trey 57 this. OAG and Happy Town, I'm brewing whatever they mix. 12th Street and Cherry, but my pot, those are really flex. Olive Street running the Angelos, now that's a flex. How many rappers can elevate and lift up the streets? Go big, go big. Who is that? What's wrong with them, man? They left that guy out the building? 
Doc Madness. <laughs> but that nigga got beats though. Well from well hell of a producer. Lyricist. And then they added Wally P on that mug. Mm. Man, come on the stand up, baby. Come on, let's go. What you wanna do, man? DMP. Pack up in the building, baby. Let's get it. Mm. Okay, so I see you, baby. Come on, man. Drop that album, baby. Let's go. They probably had it, I love it, it's all on me. While y'all playing GTA, I'm in GTC. Northside, Ghost Town, that's my gangster Crips. All these hoods, I didn't name is deeper than the rag. We share the same bloodline as gangster in my veins. Gotta keep it solid, show my youth another way. Get the deal on the money and on your name. Player haters gon' hate, boss just change the game. Articulate with all these words, I don't need your chain. And fuck a deal if my son ain't getting a meal. I'm speaking for the culture, they gon' do it for the gram. I'm doing it till this is over, the power of them. Focused on what's in front of me, can't look around. Tumble if you wanna tumble, I'm gon' hold it down. Music marketing, monetizing, I want the sound. Big digits, boss meetings with no frown. Heard the whole project. I listened to it like four or five times, and it was just like, man, this is gonna be hot. So it's Wally P, the great, with Doc Madness. It's gonna be dropping on August 10th. It's gonna be on sweatshoprecordings.com. It's gonna be on all the streaming platforms. It should be uh, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, uh, you name all the big boys. It's gonna be on there. So definitely wanted to check that out. But it's, it's a bang. It's a bang. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Welcome back. And now, without wasting any time, let's get into unfiltered combos. Let's go. What up, what up, y'all? Thing one and thing two, we got us a guest in the house, Ruck Dog. What's it? What it do, my dude? Man, how y'all doing? Much love and respect. Been a hot That's minute good. since we touched bases, so you know. Good yeah, to be we'll back. Get, we'll get more into That's all good. of that, man. Definitely, man. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on the show of things of that nature, man. On filter combos, we're just gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of your background, man. I invited you to the show because of, uh, man. I remember when we used to do. Uh, some repo stuff together, man, with your company. And I know you have some stories to tell and some experiences. And <laughs> maybe some people would like to know a little bit about that industry and got some inquiries to get in. So, and then we'll just jump into some other shit. But I would love let us start there, my guy. Why don't you explain yourself and a little bit of your background that you was doing when you was the repo man? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it was definitely a fun job. That's for sure. I mean, but I've been out the industry quite some time now. Mm-hmm. So I've heard a lot of things have changed. Okay. Uh, I mean, especially after the glorifying of like TV shows, like once it became <laughs> commercialized, it kind of got right. Sweet. But I mean, it's it's not a hard industry to break into. Then ironically, it's not. If you have any car theft knowledge it's, it's really easy you know what i mean because mm-hmm. most of the time you have a truck that does all the hard work so right. that's what makes it easy i think what makes it unattainable right now is the price of the equipment the equipment is since oh oh six was the last time i bought what they would refer to as a repo truck mm-hmm. it's a wheel lift smart like the most compact tow truck you could run outside of putting like a wheel lift on the back of a regular pickup type setup. Right. But, uh, 
I know back when I bought my wheel lips, I paid a little bit under 47 K for it. Mm -hmm. And now you can't pick up any kind of equipment like that for under like 80, 90 K brand new. Yeah. Double. Double. <laughs> you know, so in less than 10 years, that's well, no, in about 20 years, it's doubled. Okay. So, man, that's great. Yeah. So it's nothing like the shows, man. Nothing like the no, shows at I, all. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's There's been some way out shenanigans where you'd be like, dude, did that just really happen? Mm -hmm. For real? Yeah. Like, I, I've, I've had scenarios where old ladies, like, would come out with their family and then throw themselves on the floor. Mm. They're like, oh, you pushed me. We're like, what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> six feet away. Oh, it, it's, it's just characters, like, straight. I mean, as far as, like, the cheesiness, ironically, it was like that. Okay. But it just wasn't all the people with flamethrowers and <laughs> just the ludicrousness like come on man right yeah so, they had to add that, that Hollywood job. right definitely probably one of my most fun film jobs that was a legal <laughs> card right a legal card thief. got the yeah, a legal the, card thief. yeah right. exactly I, you I, I, enjoy any of that any of the uh the fruits of the labor <laughs> Meaning any of the cars, the trucks, the anything, get to enjoy any of that? Um, oh, you know what, though? We used to take a lot of stuff out of the vehicles that were like personal. If they had aftermarket stereo stuff, stuff right. like that. We had normally big containers that we would fill up with the stuff and allow the opportunity for people to come get their stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? But believe it or not, a lot of it laid to waste because they're embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people want to be like, oh, you know, forget about it. It's right. it's gone. So they'll just leave it. And after 30 days, we get to rummage through it. And what we don't want, we just throw away. Right. So, I mean, oh, my God. Stereo equipment is like, it was like a monthly upgrade. <laughs> and right. like, oh, wait, <laughs> these speakers are better. Hold on. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sweet. Like, hold up. Oh, wow. Those rims are tight. Oh, damn. The fucking tires are newer than mine. Switch. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ever have anybody come back after the switch? I'd rather not incriminate you. So. But yay, yeah, you know what? Now, all those things aside, I did some shady shit once. And I was mm -hmm. young and dumb in the industry. I'm not even going to lie. I was young and dumb, and I took this dude, my homeboy had the same exact car. I took this dude's car, drove it to a shop, and my boy paid me like 2K for every ounce of aftermarket equipment that was on this Acura in <laughs> and he got everything off of it, and I took it, and I paid 500 bucks for the body shop to do it. So I made $1,500 on it. Right. And then my dude that owned the car showed up like six days later for it. <laughs> and I hadn't taken it to auction yet, so it was my fault for dragging my feet. Right. So I, I got caught flipping nasty. Nasty. Want to grow on, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Great life lesson. <laughs> That's right. Well, y'all know you was talking about stereo systems, and I know, D, we didn't do this at the top of it, but um, I do got to ask you one thing, my guy. Since we're talking about stereo equipment, what's in your playlist? What you uh, what do you wake up to? What do you vibe to? What do you get going? Get them juices, especially when you have to do something like that. You got a playlist? What you have listening to this morning? Talk to us. I got, I got, I got a playlist. I love, I love. You know, me and you are on the same channel when it comes to a lot of the new shit. So, mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't wipe my ass with it if it saved me from cancer. Uh, <laughs> I right. Mean, I'm just being 100. I mean, this shit is like mm -hmm. it's a joke. But um, I'd say I do. I, I do. Gosh, I can't even think off top right now. 
<laughs> got them on the spot. I can't remember names. Yeah, I can't remember right. names. I do got a playlist. Right. I mean, there's yeah. a, there's some heads out there that got some knockers that I ain't never even heard of. Like, you know, mm. uh, what's his name? There's this cut that I love. Like a lot, a lot of like mental shit. You know what I mean? Right. I've been listening to shit that's talking about like me- mental illness and just, awareness. You know, like Lucas Joyner speaks on it a lot. You right. Know, uh, dude, like PTSD, fucking mm. uh, a- dude. That's he's got uh, this what's his name? Do that ADHD. shit. ADHD. ADHD. I think I heard yeah. that. Oh okay. my god, that cut is right. fire. You know, right. that's on my playlist. Right. Uh, dude, I mean, he, some of some of Tech's new stuff, I haven't had a chance to do. I'm probably out of the loop, like on his last three albums. Right. I've right. probably heard the majority, but not <laughs> all of them. <laughs> right. Because he put, man, my man, for real, I love Tech to death, but please stop putting out albums so I can catch up. <laughs> That <laughs> always like, working. On, oh, man. And his albums be like 20, 30 songs deep, bro. It don't be no like yeah. seven, eight. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. him and that's him and 40. Him and E40 both, man. Yeah. They'll give you 20 plus yeah. just because they, they can. Yeah. They put out catalogs, dog. Not albums. They put out catalogs. Right. <laughs> yeah. Come man. on, man. You'd be at yeah. like, you'd be at like fucking cut number 14 and still. And he's talking about his next album dropping. Like, come on, bro. Right, right. Come on. Yeah, he just dropped come that Nuthouse album please. too. So, and when he yeah. ain't doing his own stuff, he's on, you know, somebody else's or putting out one of the artists on Strange or, you know, and it's just like, damn, bro. But that's that work yeah. ethic that's got him there. For sure. Yeah. No limit personified. Yeah. Right. But it's actually, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he's a uh, he's definitely a good performer, uh, all around artist. Um, you know, the only thing the only thing that I would ask is why do why does the roster change so much? Man, that'd be, the only, that'd be my only question I'd ask is why is the roster and everybody who from you know the original individuals from the BGs, the Cut Calhouns, the uh, yeah. you know the, the uh, uh, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Man, you know, big man, you know he, yeah, you know General Rice. Grant Rice, like these dudes that like you even Calico. Up all of them. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't heard Calico with them in a while, you know. So it's like Calico you know, left it's big school. Where's big school? Big school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, like man, you just hear him every now and then on a feature. You right. don't really hear him on like no, you know, hear nothing else. So, yeah, it's a lot of Lynch because I think Lynch yeah. left. Like yeah. Lynch no, came, no, Lynch Lynch left, left and Lynch came Lynch. back. He's still yeah. there. Yeah, okay. because um, it was him and uh, what's the dude that they just picked up? X rated. Um, oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so him and X rated, they kind of did some stuff together on on a, a, pro- a project. And then Lynch is also, like you said, he's off and on. He, he represents his own shit. He's just on strange kind of deals, the way I look at it. Um, and yeah. he had an interview because he had just released one of those. It's not the greatest hits, but it's like, you know, that whole mindset, this old stuff that he put together on a, on a, a I think it's called like Deep Cuts or something like that. Um, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Choice cuts. Choice cuts. There you go. Yeah, Choice. I just listened to that the other day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, me too. Yeah. <laughs> me too, actually. So, yeah. 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 That's what's up, my guy. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, like, uh, Rich. Rich, that dude's pretty Rich. tight. Yeah, Rich. Rich. Yeah. I like he, you know, He's another like one that left strange. Yeah. yeah. Another one that's left strange. Uh, he just dropped something. Um, but I like their new talent as well, though. You know, some of the new talent that I, that's on there, I'm, 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 I'm digging. Whatever happened to the singer? Oh, chick, the, um, the, the label, his or yeah, the, the bone as well. Yeah, because I know she was supposed to be putting a project out, but she had a single and some stuff that they had on a. You know how he puts those albums out where it'd be like a couple songs from different projects, and I was like, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what the MLK project was or something? What was it? I, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I forget. He got, like I said, he got so much music, bro. Like it. Yeah, bro. For real. I can't, I can't even tell you the I name of this know. album. Like that's I, that's how I don't, know, like, I don't know what right. the name of the last three albums are. I'm not even gonna lie. I know I one of them was here. I just know. Yeah. Fear. And I haven't got through all of that. I don't think. 
right, right. I yeah, just I listened to this new album. Mind. I haven't did the Nuthouse album, but I just listened to the the newer um of his releases. And it's, it's a lot, of course, you know, I like it. it it's called on oh, this one. Uh, uh, it's called Pits, I think. Party in the Sky. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Or if not, that's the whole theme of the album because he has interludes yeah. kind of like keep taking you to the party in the sky. Yeah. Right. That's one thing he's good for is a concept. Man. And a full, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unlike nowadays, yeah. he's got these. Especially, these you know, hey. All bullshit aside, like when it comes to metaphors too, there's mm-hmm. very few people that like spit the way he does. Like right. when he metaphorically right. speaks, like party in the sky. Right. Like, you know, that that could go in so many different directions. Right. And he could speak on every single one of those platforms. Right. 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 In exactly. four different verses. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, that's what yeah. I love about that. Oh. I love it that yeah. he's um he fuses a lot of different styles of music as well. Um, you know, like, cause he has that, what was it? Kibosh or whatever it was that he had created in his mind that it was like a type of rock and hip hop mix. And yeah. then, you know, <clears throat> stuff. so he brings a lot of those individuals from that, you know, type of music and they create some pretty good stuff, especially on this new album, like that party in the sky. That's, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He's, like, it's, it's just a big ass party. Um, yeah. and, it's, it's a fucking party. It's a tech party. So <laughs> that's what's good. Right. Yeah, that's what's that's what's good. So what you been up to lately? I know you said you've been out of that for a while. What you been? What you had going on lately? Just life. Just life. And I was. I had a Harley shop for a few years, and then I kind of got wiped out on a in a bad accident on my Harley Davidson. So that's kind of sent me back and. Now I've got a square, nine to nine to five. Well, technically, a, a eleven to seven. Right, right. So you got wiped out on your Harley? Oh yeah, some dude thought it was okay. He was parked against the curb. My dude just was like, "I make left turn now. Good luck, everybody." <laughs> and just, uh... you know, and I hit him doing about 45, 50 miles an hour. Oh, wow. yeah. no bueno. That's not even the worst part. The worst part is the amount of money I had in my Harley. <laughs> it's just, I lost a lot of money. Like, I found out the hard way that you need, like, specialty insurance because, like, your regular insurance will only cover so much. Right. Damn. I learned that the hard way. I lost, like, a smooth eight, nine thousand dollars in accessories on my bike. Uh. That's and the worst custom. part is the guy just That's put the crazy. stereo system in it. Like, right. I want to say like five weeks before that. Yeah. That was all custom that work. That you yeah. That, that's okay. exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. That, that Go right ahead. Basically what I did. I did uh, custom installations from exhaust to stereos to just anything and everything, you know. And cut custom carbon fiber inserts, things like that, you know. Okay. So, That's right. That's what's up. So, uh, how extensive were the injuries? Pretty extensive, yeah. Um, I got five discs bolting in my neck mm. that are anywhere um, from two to three centimeters. Which is yeah. pretty big because the neck discs are really tiny. So the one that's in my lower back, which is my L5, they say that's about five and a half centimeters off. So, but that's a huge disc. So it's not as bad as the ones up here. So. Yeah. I'm going to say shit, nigga, that L5. Oh, <laughs> hey, homie. Hey, you would know, smooth. Like that L5, that's one, homie. <laughs> you know, one of the doctors sat there, and he was like, yeah, well, you know, the injuries aren't too bad. And I thought to myself, this motherfucker, have you ever heard right. of this? Right. <laughs> what is the dumbest like, shit I've ever it. heard in my life? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, jerk? Yeah, man, life-changing, bro, that... Man, you start fucking with that back and that neck and then vertebrae and disc and 
it's, it's then it fucks stuff. with your hip. Yep. It fucks with your knees. Uh, oh, bro, I all the, all the, the uh, Yeah, when I used to sit there and laugh at you, dog. Yeah, dog. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm man. Sorry. Nice <laughs> yeah. Walking I'm around, sorry. no I'm sleep, sorry, and nothing was comfortable. Nothing. Play, nothing you do is play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> yep, I, exactly. I yep. am the winner. So, <laughs> <laughs> so where are you at as far as like, are you doing rehabbing, like physical therapy? I'm, I'm currently on? doing rehab, physical therapy, and pain management. Waiting for the clearance for pain management to start doing the epidural. We did it once before. Where'd you get it? Ooh. Where'd you get, in you my get back. that? Oh, in okay. my back. I had it in my first, the second, my hip. That shit was painful. Oh my God. The one in my back was terrible. I wanted to beat the brakes yeah. off the broad. And then they didn't even sedate me. Did they sedate you? No, hell no. Nope. They sedated, Not at all. They, they did sedate me, but this time they're going to they're yeah. gonna sedate me. Yeah, he was like, and hey, not only that, my doctor's going to massage the area while they sedate me. While the, so right. They do, yeah, right. while they give me the injection. So, uh, yeah. So, you, I, um, I'll take that. Though. I don't want to be away. I went through that once. I want to cry. I hear that. <laughs> Question I don't for you, cry. bro. Uh, Did they give you one shot? Did, or is this like the second shot in the series or what? This They haven't given me any shots with this because the injuries were exacerbated this time around. I was in an accident a year and a half before, but in a car yeah. accident, a four car pile up. So that, that's what originally lying. jacked up. You my need to walk. <laughs> you can't. That's what, you can't that's, what my attorney said. that's what my attorney said. She was like, Mr. Armenta, you need to stop. You're going to end up getting kicked off your insurance. I was like, I've, so I've been in four accidents in the last three years. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Mr. Unbreakable, Mr. Glad. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. Damn. No. Yeah. You got to go everywhere you go. Oh, it was terrible on a bike. Because three of those accidents, I bought my bike brand new in 20, 2020. Not brand new, but I bought a used bike in 2020. I got hit seven days after I bought it. God, Seven damn. days after I bought it, so it ended up in the shop. After that, that was it. That was in October. I bought it the seventh. No, I bought it the second, and I got in an accident on the ninth. <laughs> and then in February the following year, that's when I got in the four car pilot. And then in August of that year, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, dude, she just she just merged. She was like another one. I go left now. Good luck, everybody. Like, I was just like, come on, man. And man. I just saw her, and that was the same exact thing as my last accident. I swear to God, like anytime I saw like that shit coming, I just looked at it and I just thought to myself for that split second, yeah, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> that's it that's all that you have time to think it's like oh my god mm, that's just crazy yeah. so. and it hurt oh yeah <laughs> it hurt she What's just up? murdered right thankfully that accident though she she was right in front of an ambulance and dude stopped oh. gave a full statement and everything right so. right that's what's up yeah. that's Man. crazy bro. yeah it's, just... it's been a terrible like last four years dog <laughs> hey, but yeah, you're still I, here, so right, I was right, right and left the whole time. That like, part. I'm not gonna lie, it was mostly my fault. <laughs> hey, accountability, man. That's that's big. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, oh, you, are you ever gonna get back on the bike? Nah, I'm cool. Right. And the only reason I say that is because. My kids actually, I've been in four motorcycle accidents all together. Four, five major accidents in the last like eight years. And this last time, my kids actually saw me at the scene of the accident on the ground, my bike totaled and being loaded into an ambulance. And, you know, basically, they saw the whole thing right. other than me hit the vehicle. 
And uh, I just don't want them to see that. I don't want that to be in the back of their minds every mm-hmm. time I don't leg over a bike. You know what I mean? Right. And I ride, I rode like an idiot. I'm not going to lie. I, just, I'm I'm that, I was that dickhead biker that Mm-hmm. You know, when you when I went by your car, you was mad. You know, I, <laughs> I'm doing the most on a Harley Davidson, a 900 pound bike. You know, right. I'm riding it. It's a street bike, so right. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it was just time. It was time mm-hmm. to call it good. I thought okay. I thought uh, being hit four times, and I've had homies that have lost their lives for lesser mm-hmm. accidents. Right. So, no. that part, you know, like, I get it. I had a home in the military. He didn't get a mile from the dealership, bro. Wrecked his shit. Wow. A mile from the dealership, bro. And he came into work, bro. His arm broke with the cast and the stick here. He had like a cast oh. on one leg from the hip down. Yeah. The other one from the knee down, bro. He was fucked up. Yeah, and, and he came into work. Right, yeah, came, like like after after a couple, of, you know, about a week or so, he come yeah, into work. And he was still, just, I was like, bro, for real, you should have stayed at home, homie. You can't help us do nothing here. Right, <laughs> well, it don't matter. You said military, right? Yep, you come that's right. Yeah, they'll, they'll have <laughs> you just sit there, nigga, and be a tree. Nigga, sit right there and hold this, <laughs> hold this leaf. Nigga, that's it. You know what I'm hey, put those crutches down. You got one good yeah. arm. Answer the phone. Right. <laughs> so exactly. Damn, it's so true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that shit. Hey, bro, like smooth though. I told the story. Is this chick when I was in? She was. She was. Uh, I seen this chick picking up trash duty. You know, military. They got you. You know, they put you on yard. Whatever the fuck it's called, right? And this chick is, and she's bandaged up, bro. Hands, fucking face. She looked like fucking a mummy. <laughs> Come to find out, they 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 gave her Article 15 for destruction of government property because she fell asleep in the sun, right? And got second degree sunburn. But the thing they had this bitch bandaged like a mummy picking up trash, bro. That's the gangsters. Okay, let me give you this protocol. In the meantime, yeah, hey, you still gotta go to work. We're gonna figure something out for you. In the rain. I was like, damn, yeah. that's what <laughs> they can bandages on damn. Second degree sunburn skin in the rain. That's that's torture, man. We torture our own. It was it was rain in June in Mississippi, so you already know it's hot, it's muggy, it's man, come on. She was out there picking up trash. looking like Mumra. <laughs> <laughs> right. In the rain. It <laughs> still caught an article 50. Yeah, the military is cold cold piece of work. Yeah, that's what they hit you with. That's what they hit you with when you get tattoos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Destruction of government property. Yeah, Yeah. they'll they'll, they'll find stuff for you to do. They'd rather you just come in and hold on and wait, and we'll give you something to do. Like I said, man, we have base cleanup duty. And I remember um, hurry up and wait. That and it was like, hey, well, we have the commander coming through for the, you know, for the, uh, the, the, what you call it, the whole commanding squadrons coming through. So we need to do this right. It's like, but everything's clean. They're like, hey, you see those white rocks? Yeah. Paint them brown. Make them whiter. Yeah. <laughs> and no, 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 paint yeah. them brown. And then when you get done, paint them back white. But they're already white. Like you said, make them whiter. So they want you to yeah. paint them yeah. brown and then paint them back white, bro. What yeah. the fuck? Are you serious? Like you're dead serious? Okay, they was. They yeah. was. It happened when it I was happened. at Bill. When I was at Bill, it's like it was in the middle of the summer, and you know Marysville is hot as fuck, bro. Mm-hmm. It's 113, 113 degrees. Them motherfuckers had us had us outside painting rocks white. They gave us they gave us like like ten fucking five gallon things of paint, mm-hmm. paint all these rocks around the building. We was like, what? I was like, bro, and you know, my mouth, I was like, this is some bullshit. What'd you say, Sam? Oh, you heard me, dog. I'm like, bullshit, sir. I don't give a fuck. It's still some bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> like, right? It, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. I'm going to do it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to do it, bullshit. but this is bullshit. Like, when I'm yeah. painting them rocks, I'm like, this is bullshit. Smith, shut up. Yeah, whatever. It's still bullshit. Right. bullshit. Smith, why are you giving us a hard time? Because it's bullshit. Like, right. Fuck. 
it's bullshit. Y'all know this is bullshit. And then the sergeant that had us do it, he got in trouble. Because they was like, what the fuck is you doing with these dudes outside on 113 degrees painting fucking rocks just for your enjoyment? Yeah, he got his shit ripped. <laughs> right. And I was like, that's what you get, punk ass. Yeah. Hey, right. <laughs> That's Take crazy. a stripe from his ass. I was mad as hell. Jumping, <laughs> demoting. <laughs> I was knocking over paint buckets on purpose. Oh, we running out of paint. Can't do this no more. That is like Smith. You man, <laughs> just go, just go. It's like yeah, because yeah, it's bullshit. Um, yeah, send me home. I'm about to fuck up so you can send me and do something else. This is bullshit. <laughs> over 100, 113 degrees, dog. Come on. That's, that's the average out here in Hemet, so I can't. Yeah, but still, you ain't painting rocks. <laughs> nah, you're right about that. I ain't painting rocks. But I tell you what, I was doing in 130 degree heat in Saudi. Oh, we won't get into that. <laughs> so, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> yes, sir. That's but, trash. That's yeah, trash. When you when you take a 90 degree shower and you're freezing, right? Because right. It was 130 right. degrees earlier. Right. And you better hope you don't jump in that shower in midday, like, hey, dude, I'm in the shower. Because all they got is water bladders that just sit out in the middle of the desert, bro. So you got to wait till that shit cool down. Boiled yeah. potatoes. There's no hot and water switch. It's just a lever that says on and off. Yup. No, I'm good. <laughs> the shock therapy and shit. Fucking what the hell. Everybody at three o'clock in the morning taking showers, four o'clock, like, been freezing, can't take it there today. <laughs> hot, go to the it's too hot. Like, yeah, it's horrible. Niggas wanted to go to work. I worked 16 today. There was AC in the little tent. They had a little portable AC in those tents. Damn, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I worked the flight line. So that tarmac yeah. made me hotter. Anyway, yeah. no soapbox kicked from underneath. I got a question, man. Me and D was talking about something. What is your take on uh, participation trophies, bro? I know you got kids. I know that they are involved in <laughs> um, different things. Um, and, At no uh, point should you be rewarded for anything that you participated in unless you won. Okay? I don't care if you're fucking second. You shouldn't even get a second place medal. Right. I mean, right. I'm just being real. Why are you being rewarded for being the first place loser? Like, I mean, that don't even make sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I mean, and I was never upset about it when I was a kid. I mean, you and I right. grew up mm -hmm. balling from everywhere, from Rogers and Darby Park to pretty much any park we ever lived in in any city. Yeah. yeah. So, exactly that you know, part. I think it was basketball i played football and baseball, baseball. like dude yeah. Yeah. man like you so, had to earn it i never got yeah, yeah. like dude like i was happy yeah. when the coach told me i did a good job that day so mm -hmm. i mean and i wasn't even looking for that praise so i mean what are you gonna give me a bs trophy for for participating i want shit that i earn right thank you for thank you for almost winning yeah <laughs> Yeah, and, it's so, and how does that I, I just don't understand how what that does for the child psyche for future like now you have an expectation of every time you now they're just participating to get, if, you, if you try it's okay that's it you don't have right. to succeed that's no right. that's trash yeah, I tried, so that's, where's my you're living, you're living in a life where basically right. almost everything is almost and you're rewarded for almost Right. almost only yeah. counts in horseshoes and hand grenades that's it right and I don't know if anybody on here got a check or applying for a job. You know what I mean? Don't you have to get the job? <laughs> it doesn't right. matter if you was out of two people. Us three are the uh, you are the three candidates, and we pick Ruckus. All right, and Smooth, you get a check, and D, you get a check. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> we got another job though that we got over here for another company that we're gonna hire you for. Like none of that happens. So yep. where does yeah. that set them up for anything? You know, hey, but how come I got an F on this test? I put my name on the paper. I tried. You see what I'm saying? Now that just sets up a different argument, man. And and yeah, I, yeah. It, it, it waterfalls. It, yeah, it's it, it's a shitty version of Ronald Reagan's trickle down effect. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. like it, it, yeah. in actuality, and that's the way I feel about it. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. I, I, I agree. totally agree. Yeah, we was just talking about. It. I said, you know what? This would be good stuff, man. Because I know people that got kids, and and I just want to get their partake. Because I I have yet to come across the parent that agrees with it. So where do they get this idea from? I don't know. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with praising your child because you want them to to know that they are advancing. They're doing better. Right. But you know, you don't. You don't. I mean, it's one thing to like, hey, let's go get some pizza. You did a good job. Right. You know what I mean? It's another thing to go a whole losing season and you still get a trophy at the end of it. What? Hey, or you're entering into (laughs) tournaments. It's like, dude, how does a team with a no winning record enter a tournament? Like in this this team has lost points or they haven't lost at all. And so this team still gets an opportunity to beat this team. That's not right. You know what I mean? And then you wonder why there's aggression. Like, yeah. like you, you're in there, like you know the kids. You don't think the kids know that the ones that ain't sucked into the part, the ones that really go out and train. Like that's my thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, like you said, it's different. Go out and have some pizza or something. I, I think the the participation aspect of it that's on the parents. It ain't up to the organization or the or that or that team or that that group of individuals, whatever is being going on. It ain't up to them. It's up to you as the parent when you're taking your kid home and you're saying, hey, you know what? Like you said, let's go out for some pizza. You did get the season was good. Didn't win. You know, you take them off their mind of doing that, not praising them to go into tournaments. And now you're paying kids are paying to go places. And yeah, like, okay. I think what? it sets them up for devastation personally. I mean, so right. now you got this team. Let's be real. Let's be real. Right. Your fucking kids team sucks. Like, let's be 100. Your fucking right. team sucked, right? Mm-hmm. We're all, I mean, they completely sucked. We can say shit like that back when, you know, Gen X, whatever. Oh, yes. Your, 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 your kid's team sucked. His brother's team sucked. You know, and they right. all get trophies. And we're going to put them in tournaments. Okay. And now the teams that are actually in tournaments, they're going to destroy your kids. Mm-hmm. Destroy your kids. So you're going to set them up and just keep pushing them forward. <laughs> Even though there's sharks out there, you're just gonna keep pushing them off the dock and telling them to swim. Like, yeah, no, ch- no, child yeah, no child left behind. No child left behind, right? That's, that's what the terrible same shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly shit. what yeah. it is. That's yeah. exactly. You know, oh, yeah. it's, that, it's that no child left behind. Oh, they're so sensitive. Right, whatever. Man. You suck oh. that shit the fuck up. You lost. Dude, get better. Get better. Figure out what you need to get, you need to do to get better. You got to leave that team and go somewhere else. You need to work oh, harder. Like that. that's what it's all about. Like where's the drive? Where's the determination? Yeah. When I used to tell the kids when I when I coached big, I was like, look, if you don't want to be out here, go home and play Madden. Just yeah. leave because you're, you're you're useless to us and to yourself because you don't even want to be here. And I used to tell the parents, hey, I understand you want them to make friends. Go, go to the chess club put them in something they like yeah. because this ain't it and you're you're wasting your money because they don't Not I used to have a kid though, but you, you, you know you're you're breaking down that kid in the long run they're gonna have animosity they're gonna have issues I mean basically they're gonna have like PTSD for shit dumb shit mm-hmm. I mean let's let's be let's be real about that I mean you forced your kid to play football Right, and now he's got it to like, dude. He hates football. Right, as an right. adult, he, he's fucking angry about football. Right, you know, he's, come on, man. Like, all because what the reality is is you maybe you didn't get to play football or something. There's so many different twists on it. It's just, right. it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I've I've seen that a lot in youth league football, where the dad is pushing the kids so hard because he played or wasn't as good and he wants his kid to be this. I'm like, dude, stop living through y'all kids. Like, he don't have it in him. He don't want to do it. Leave him alone. Like, we gonna get him in six plays and send him, you know, and sit him down. You know, I understand the, once you make the commitment, yeah, you gotta ride it out. But if it ain't for him after that, don't be signing him up again. Or you're gonna I let my son choose when he played baseball. Yep. Both of them. I was like, when you guys are done, just let me know. If you don't want to play no more, let me know. Yep, Save yep. me a ton of money, too. Yep. <laughs> exactly. But, my daughter, money, energy, driving. Exactly. 
Oh, over God. the place for games and tournaments, yeah. and tournaments, my, my hotels. Ronnie, right now. So. Yeah, yeah, we're going Man. to Vegas on Thanksgiving weekend, right. bitch. Do right. you know how high that shit is? Like, yeah. like, I was like, why do y'all do this shit on holidays, knowing that the rates are going to be highest? Like, people ain't got time for this shit. Almost like, like when we did when back. we did nationals, it was two weeks before Christmas, bro. Yeah. Oh no, bro! Like, y'all want us to go to Florida two weeks before Christmas, and a lot of the a lot of the parents was like, "Hey, if we go to Florida, this is your Christmas." Yeah, I get it. Letting the kids know this is your Christmas, motherfucker, because this yeah. shit called. This is more than the gift you was gonna get. I think that's why it's important to let them choose, like you said, Rock Dog. Like you know, I let uh, you know my son, my daughters who play. Like you choose. Matter of fact, you do the legwork. Like they had to go out and find like his AAU team. He had to go out and find the information through the boys that he knew that was playing and come back and give it to us. So that's how I know. If you right. put the leg work in, you know what I mean? If you're going to do the, okay, that part, okay, hey, well, the practice is going to be, da, 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 da. we need to be there because this is the, okay, you got all the information. See, I'm not going to come and bring all that to you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to entice you. So that way that's showing me a little bit at the front. Yeah, I'm there to support. Like you said, to go ahead and make them, because, you know, kids don't understand commitment. That's, that is one yeah. thing that you have to bear them on because, you know, like if they're talented, a lot of them get by on pure talent where other ones go out there and work for it. So it's definitely a commitment thing that under, to make them understand that when you listen to the greats, you listen to Kobe, right? You listen to Jordan. Jordan was cut. So where was the participation trophy in that? What made him better? Because he was cut from that team. And he went oh, back and said, oh. I'll never go through that feeling again. So right. you know, it's, 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 we're taking them and we're making this powder puff society. And I hate to say that, you know, the man, the, the, the wet noodle handshake, you know, what I'm saying kids that when they come up and shake your hand, it's like, bro, I'm not your female, bro. Why are you shaking my hand like that? I even talked to my, my sons and t- like, hey, when you meet and greet, bro, you got to put firm, some firm. in that. Yeah, yeah, firm hand. Firm hand right. Hand right. And even now, D, we was talking about even yep. females on a firm handshake because yeah, they're like, they you know, know, I don't want you to be that, that wet noodle, you know, what I'm saying head and shaking. Like, bro, like, mm, how you doing? Yeah. Like, oh, hey, you ever get to just the tips of the fingers? <laughs> nah, I won't have. I'll, 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 oh, bro, I had a month ago. No, no. I, when I went in, dog, I went in for the full fucking thing and the motherfucking rap. I was like, nah, you ran me out. Like, bro, I needed hand sanitizer and shit after that. I was like, <laughs> motherfucker, yeah. trying to give me the cooties. Well, right? yeah. why, why, why you gonna hit me with the fucking limpers? Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Yes. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we we like, man. Man. The rubber wrist. And once again, oh, there's nothing wrong with the idea of, hey, you know what? That people, well, what about this? There's nothing wrong with that idea. The fact of the matter is, is in the real world, bro, you're going to come across these alpha males. Yeah, you, these real individuals that are like, bro, that means nothing. The, 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 yeah. the, the you know, oh, well, I placed this and I got that. And like, you go to look at the trophies that are on the mantle and it's like, hey, bro, this says fourth place. This says, you know, great for participating or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. That bro. Means, and then the real world. And then if you are. That's what I tell people. No, uh, a like, okay. session or two with the with the with the weak handshake that that that's a that's a double whammy for disaster. It's a it's a, it's the assassination of a of a it's the assassination of the male character, like in general, yeah. like we're we're, we're yeah. masculinity is being yeah masculinity right. is just yeah. being completely obliterated. Yeah, yeah. like that, you can't that, be, so many angles that they don't see it. Yeah, well, we're being desensitized to being like a, a feminine, a, fem- a feminine male. You know what I'm saying? Or remember yeah. we talked about the D about the THC levels, the knowing how they now they're talking about. Yeah, let's yeah, let's legalize everything. So we found a way to market it and then also put their agenda in that marketing. Um, yeah. But besides that, I'm gonna tell you what all this equals to. This equal all of this shit that we're talking about from participation trophies to the little weak handshake. And all of that in a way, it leads to these individuals that now, remember D, when we talk about people out there that's doing shit and people, all they do is run and don't intervene and they just want their phones to catch it and place it on YouTube, IG or whatever. When you see girls getting beat up by dudes or dudes jacking females that used to see and like you sitting there eating, they run up and grab their purse and they knock your females out and the guys are running with their girls. I was like, How do you go back home and have a relationship? 
but that's what creates yeah. these type of males, bro. That's what oh, creates okay. these type of males because now what? Pause in the military, right? Even that whole shit, pause. Every time you say something that could be misconstrued, it, it's like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, I, mean, hey, hey, I wanted to talk about that too. I wanted to talk oh, about that too because I was like, why do I have to say pause? Because right, you're thinking, what you, you because you were thinking some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I already know who I am. I know exactly who the fuck this motherfucker is. So and anything I said and come out my mouth is never gonna be on that homosexual shit unless I intentionally right. let you know that it, that it is. Other than right. that, I'm like, why do I gotta say pause? I'm not gay. So right. none, nothing come out my mouth is being pushed that direction mm-hmm. into that. We're not even going there. So why would I have to sit there? Oh, pause. That's right. right. <laughs> Get your shit together. Like, right. Go talk to yourself yeah. about why you got to say pause and why you feel that. You know? me, man. It's like, get through the story. Like, why you got to keep saying pause? Like, I'm thinking like, okay, like, what, 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 man? I'm not even going there with it. So exactly. I, even if it is, it's a quick ha ha. Yeah. Okay. Like, remember, you know, you, you just do shit like that. And it's like, that's funny. And then you keep pressing, not sit on it where you got to give it light. Now it's got its own lingo. Oh, man. Pause, you know, man, you feel like, like you got to defend your your your, uh, your words and shit on some pathetic level. You know what I'm saying? That's a dumb level to have to. That's the byproduct of all this. Defend my character and who I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, 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 the, it's the byproduct of fucking just everything in general being pushed. We've wrapped all of society in bubble wrap. Right. And like everybody, like, what? what's the point of freedom of speech if what I say hurts your feelings? It's supposed to because it's freedom of speech. It's my right. opinion. Yeah, if you don't exactly. like my opinion, right. then just keep on it. moving. Like, that's exactly. like if you're scrolling on social media and you see some shit that you're not into. Keep scrolling. So what do you do? Gives, gives a fuck. Right. Yeah. You just why do you have to? Oh, why do you have to stop? Watch the whole shit and then take your time to give some negative bullshit back. Who gives a fuck? Right, whatever. I ain't into that. Oh, shit. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Every now and then, I'll troll somebody just to be a fuck boy. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? I, I'll just be. I'll just be like, you know, blow some, blow some real quick. Type of come across some dumb shit and be like, oh, I'm gonna fuck with him. Well, yeah, sometimes and, you do that. You, you know. it, yeah. But that, that's as far as I take it. And then it it is entertainment. To the comments. Yeah. At the end know, of the day, it is entertainment. It is. So, yeah. yeah. I had yeah. somebody say that something to me. I was like, bro, this is the internet. Relax. Yeah. Like, that's it. I mean, you Don't know really saying? let it get you worked up that way. Yeah. Bad. You're so upset over the internet. So, and everything so, is based on the instant gratification. If you get the like, if you get the share, if you get the subscribers. Like, so you okay. listen to any talk. Just like us, when, you know, little kids that are. Around the house, and they're like, "Oh, you got only so and so subscribers and so and so followers." I was like, "Don't they make your friends, man? It's just people looking for you to follow and subscribe them too." Are you getting? You know what I mean? Like, right. come on, man. They don't know. Yeah. They don't like you. It's the it's, it's all it's 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 universe shit. That's what, it's that's what only, only fans, the whole concept of OnlyFans is so wild to me, dog. And that's coming from a man, you know what I mean? All we do is think about sex, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all bullshit aside, side. Only right. fans is a wild fucking concept. Dog. Think yeah. about it. I mean, if the fucking internet crashed right now, every one of these bottle bitches be out of a job. Right. They were saying that. Here. Because they don't have Here. no real skills, bro. They, 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 they don't, don't have, have no, no real skills real to make no dough, so... Yes. Exactly. You, know, you offer nothing but your body. Yeah. And what no happened to the you slice? What happened you to the nothing the, but your body? Yeah, what happened to the uh the, the what is I can't think of the word, but you know that anticipation of seeing what she looked like. And now you right. talk to your imagination. To it, yeah, the yeah. imagination. Like you talk to a chick now, oh you want some pictures? God. Yeah, you get fucking fifty booty hole pictures, and you're like, "Wait a minute, girl! I just I don't even know your name yet." Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Do it. I know you're it, proud it, of your body, but goddamn, like, it, it really is. It, it's gotten so out of control, bro. It's you didn't like, even it, put it, emojis it, over nothing. You just. I ain't, me, even go, like, I ain't even gonna fester though on just the women part about it though, because <laughs> dudes for real be hella out of pocket, bro. Like I hear, like I got a lot of female cousins, so I hear about dick pics a lot. 
and that shit drives me nuts dog at what point did you wake up and be like you know what i think she wants to see my dick today what 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 <laughs> shut up she's never shut seen up. it or had it before but she's today she's gonna yeah, want to see today's the day yeah. like today's come on dog and you know what makes it the worst man the size of these damn phones and screens bro you know like it ain't even like everybody gonna see it as soon as they open it yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today? Like nigga, what, you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are you looking at on your phone, sir? Man, and, what is that? I just want to enter say this. I would love to have somebody that's our OnlyFans come on here and give us your point of view, answer some of these questions. I would love to have that. So it's not a diss, it's just an a, a, a I don't understand it. I don't I get it, but I, I don't understand. Don't. It. And just to also I, let the I, world I, know that all of us here have bo- have sons and daughters, so we all have, you know. So we're not just here to yeah, no, one. Get yeah. your ass over here and explain it, bitch. Exactly. You know, we want to hear that. I'm shit. not going to sugarcoat it. Make me right. understand, only fans. <laughs> Make me understand it because that shit is right. dumb as fuck. Oh, 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 well, it's my body, and I, oh, oh whatever. Right. I know, not anymore. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> not your body anymore. Everyone's seen it. Like, come on. Okay, you, could you, if you meet somebody, could your girl be an OnlyFans model? Could you mm-hmm. be dating OnlyFans? No. no, I mean, why do I want what everybody else has seen? I mean, you right. come into a relationship naturally knowing that there's been other men that have seen your girl. Of course, it'd be foolish to right. do that. Right. Yeah. If you you got a bitch that's got a a platform of 1.2 million people, like hold the fuck up, like dude, she's right. damaged goods, bro. And then they always got egos, always, yeah. always. I mean, naturally, a, yeah, women, are, yeah, women, women are the most million. Yeah. Yeah. The, the BBLs, breast augmentation. Getting their lips done, all that shit. You think they're doing that shit for men? Fuck out no, of here, dog. They're no. trying to outdo each other. They're yeah. trying to outdo each other. That's it. Yeah. The, the the biggest changes a woman does for for her to herself is to outdo another woman. Right. That's it. Yeah. Very, 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 very Run, interesting. Dog. Cause I ain't never, I ain't never seen a dude say, "I hey for sure." I ain't never seen a dude say, "You know what? I don't like her, man. She ain't got no eyelashes." Right. Just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. I, and I'm then, like, I, so no when, eyelashes, so when, when and, and you know, you know, you get them and they overdone, and I call them butterfly eyes. I'd be like, if you blink hard enough, you probably can levitate. That shit is unnecessary. I mean, do you ride a motorcycle and don't want to wear sunglasses? Is that why you got them to block particles? I don't know what like it's Yeah, I can understand yeah. you do something to because you choose. Mm-hmm. You know, I want I want them fuller. And that I get that part, but that over exaggeration shit, I, it baffles me, bro. I don't get it. Yeah, like who said they need to be that low? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, hey, I mean, you, 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 but hey, any of y'all, that. all you lash so- techs and all that shit out there, hit us up, help us, help us understand. Like that's all, you know. We don't get it, so somebody out there. Yeah, Somebody else make that pay like please. Yeah. No, definitely make it make sense because I was all about some Lululemons and a T-shirt, and y'all want to be extra. <laughs> <laughs> See the simple aspect of a man's mind, and then, like you said, it's not all the extras ain't always to please us. We'll enjoy it sometimes. Uh, we'll look at it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we if we getting done up to go out and spend the evening together and have a night out by all means of course I want my lady to look like candy on my arm right but you doing all that bitch to go pick up your kid in car line what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you <laughs> and, on, and, and then and then when I see you and I say hello you think I'm trying to get at you yeah. or, some, or, or some dumb yeah. shit not because I'm a gentleman and I'm just saying hello you think 
Nah, I you, was just saying, hi, like, calm down. Yeah, I'm just saying, hi, right. like, go on, bye, bitch. Don't nobody want you that bad. Trust me. That's why you're single. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put, dude, I, I can't say this enough, but chivalry is dead because women give it. That's an absolute because they've bad. they've been made they've been forced to be independent because yeah, society well, no, it's, has it's, taken the man out the household and said new, and I you know what I'm saying it's all of it. I think yeah. this whole equality thing this fe- this feminism is trying so hard to just demasculate society as a whole and it, and it's not even from like. It's it's all about feelings. It has nothing to do with anything else. Like it's oh oh like they see men as still we're still considered barbarians. Like you guys are really pushing this whole female agenda something hard. It's but like you'll it's praise, crazy. But, but but you'll praise a female MMA fighter though. Yeah, like dude. But right. then they want us to be, you know, they tell you to be more sensitive as a man and, and stuff like that. But you want you want us to be the man, but we gotta be a sensitive man. But then you, we gotta sit back and be slapped by a woman for no reason, and we're not allowed to react, and we're not allowed to this or that. It's like, oh, what? Yeah. See, and this uh, is yeah, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tangled, it is yep. a tangled web. Oh man, a wicked web, and see, this is the main reason why we need to get that that female co-host. Because that yep. interjection right now, I would love to have it. Not listen and yeah, respond. I would love to hear it. Yeah. But to interject while it's being said to be like, hey, set some light. Because if it was three women, I would love to be the man. Like I said, I worked in the office of nothing but women. So I loved being yeah. that man to be able to interject a man's thought and what they were saying or hearing things to be like, yes, yeah, and that's the reason why we blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like just to throw that in spice out there. So yeah, man. Or like you said, the but we, you know, we, we don't get all of that. We got a couple of people in mind, but that's that's what we're trying to, um, you know, bring to the forefront because these conversations are deep. They're going to get deeper, and it's going to look like it's just we're three chauvinistic male individuals because exactly. of our our. That's why I said we all have daughters and sons. You know, what I mean, the, everything, everybody, yeah. just, yeah. everything. It's like we're not just talking from one platform. We're talking from years of experience and watching this shit trans. You know, transcend into what it's becoming now, and yeah, I know your yeah. son, your sons ain't one of the p- individuals that we're talking about. I can, yeah. I can, I can easily say that our sons are not individuals that we're discussing because of the energy that we put into them to let them see the damn bullshit yeah, that's yeah, out. Yeah, that that wasn't the way, right? And the, but that our was, daughter, that was, them, but that was considered you're being too yeah. rough. You're so hard on. Right. Why are you so hard on your children? Uh, because the world don't give a fuck. The world don't give. So I them. gotta prepare them. Yeah. So real life. Exactly. Yeah. You're not getting J's on me because you didn't earn them, or you're not getting this because you didn't earn it. Like everything right. in life is earned. Like my used to, yeah. my grandfather, bro. My grandfather had the brand new whatever the fuck it was. The first VCR that came out, I remember he came home with that. The camcorder, that big ass old motherfucker. Like mm-hmm. my grandfather had it. And, and I'd be like, Grandpa, why are you all? And then he always asked me, Grandson, read this and help me set this up. And I'm like, Grandpa, why you buy this stuff if you can't, um, you know, work it? He said, Boy, let me tell you something. I work hard for my money. I will buy what I want when I want. Absolutely. And after that, I grabbed the directions and started reading that bitch. All right, shit, let me, this how you do it. Like, and I, even my grandmother would say, I don't question him on what he buy. That man worked hard. He can buy what he mm-hmm. wants. If he got the money to get it, then he can go get what he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was always imprinted in me. You got to earn everything. It don't matter what it is. And, mm-hmm. you, you know, and and nobody has to give you shit. Yeah. Bir- nobody birthday, holiday, none of that. Right. Like, yeah. You don't have to be given oh, anything. Nah. <laughs> Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. gotta work for it. And people would say, Man, don't you think you order your kids? Fuck no. Nope. No. Yeah. Because the real world don't give a fuck about you. So if you yeah. don't earn shit at home, when you get out there, you're gonna be just expecting. Right? Yeah. Like one of my OGs, I gotta give a shout out to my yeah. man, Fred, Fred Wagner. He told me, he said, he told his kids after they got their college degrees, he said, Now I want you to understand. No one is going to come knocking on your door offering you that $150,000 a year job. You got to go find it because no one's, no one's, there's no database where people are like, oh, they graduated. Let's call them. No. 
you got the degree? Now go put it to work. I told one of my youngins, uh, one of my kids, my boys, one of their close friends, he got his AA degree like three years. No, he got his bachelor's. And uh, you know, he did three years of school, got his shit. And I told him, I said, hey, congratulations. I said, now take that piece of paper, put some heels on it and pimp that bitch. And, mm. you know, and he kind of laughed. I'm like, nah, homie, no one gives a fuck that you got it. Besides mm -hmm. your immediate family and the people who, who watch, you know, in your village, right? And other than that, you got to put that motherfucker to work now. Yes, sir. It's not going to come to you. Ain't nobody going to wake up and say, hey, I heard you're a graduate. Here's a job. Fuck out of here, bro. They don't even want you working. Cause you look like yeah. that. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I tell him like, "Hey," yep. he's like, "All right, coach." I'm like, "I'm serious, man." I said, "Now that yeah. you earned it, put that bitch to work. You better, man, pimp yep. the blood out that motherfucking degree." Shit. <laughs> you know? D. What was the point of getting it? <laughs> Big fat. Always, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a question for you, the rock dog. I know you said, you know, put one in the air and then come up and you was talking about commenting on shit that you scroll through. So, uh, what's your choice of medication? Like, do you like flour? Do you like, you know, dabbing? I've got, I've got, I just, I don't fuck dabbing, dog. <laughs> Dab, dabbing is fantastic if you're fucking 23. <laughs> for 23. Come on, God. I'm fucking 47 years old, about to be 48. Last time I dabbed was like three years ago. I, I just can't take it. I had the one hit and I coughed for 47 minutes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm can't enjoy shit. Afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I'm right. not as balls afterwards, but I feel like almost non-responsive, kind of like dirt. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's cool. The first time I tried it, it was cool. Then a couple of times after that, like whatever, I had a little pen where you could put little dabs and it was an electronic one. But right. it, uh, I don't really crave to do it. Every now and then I'll buy some and throw it on a bowl. But not a big fan of that at all. Um, okay. I prefer flour, but mostly I prefer if I can't get quality edibles. Of the mm. flower, but I, I love some edible stuff. Right? Yeah. Do you have a Do you have an edible that you go to? Um, that like when you say a good quality, you have a quality one that you go to. I mean, no, you know, we're not Honestly, getting bugs, but just so that way, if somebody's inquiring and wondering, I love, I love cob. <laughs> I want to say cob kiva. I think it's kiva. Okay. Uh, they they make gummies. They make chocolate. Oh god, yeah, the I taste is phenomenal. Yeah, the, I've heard the of taste them. is phenomenal. The quality is just phenomenal. Um, now high wise <laughs> cheese, Chiba cheese, were phenomenal. Yeah, and I heard of those. They had um, they got this one. It's and they taste just like Tootsie Rolls, and it's called the Decadose around and ate the whole one of those one time. Boy, it sent my anxiety through the roof. <laughs> oh, it was hysterical because my, you know, my wife came in. She was like, are you okay? I was like, nope. <laughs> what do you want to do? I was like, you want me to take you to the hospital? I was like, what are they going to tell me? I was like, drink some water. Go home. I was like, CBD. Yeah, yep. I was like, what do you want to do? I'm yeah. gonna have to ride this shit out. Oh, yeah, if you ever get too out. you get too faded, CBD will bring you back yeah. down. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I see yeah. you like edibles, man. You should uh we got an episode coming out with Jay Smokes. She gave some good oh, information. Okay. It's gonna be coming out soon. Um on Stone Not Stupid. Um uh, just basically on Remember the, the, the qualities, the resin and rosin and all of that kind of stuff that she was mm -hmm. talking about and things that you can ask and, and how you know it's a quality and, you know, so, I mean, it'd be some good information that maybe you didn't know. So when that drops, man, you definitely want to tap in and peep out what she's got to say. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Definitely. I worked at a clinic for a bit, so. Okay. Be careful. Yeah, that's what's up. That's yeah. 
Look at multifaceted, man. Another dollar bomb, huh? I'm a jack of all trades. That's what's a jack of one. That's what I like, man. The show, it brings out the person and, you know, and, and more or less, that's why I say, you know, in getting people on here, it's not always, we don't really do an interview like set. We want to talk about this. It's like, I just want to tap in and show people that other people in this world that stay busy and have multiple shit going on in their lives, their perseverance, their struggles, still be able to find time to be a father, be devoted to a husband and everything else, man. Because a lot of times you hear these youngsters, man, it's, they don't have enough time to do this or they're you know it's like man and they look at us like, how do you get all that done it's like bro we just be focused or people that's jumped through different careers even that's a salute because it's like <laughs> got knowledge somewhere else you started somewhere else and you you keep going so i like those stories yeah. of present appearance and and um you know still being here man like you said 47 bro i'm 50 you know d what you 48 49 49 yeah see so i mean none of us supposed to even make it this far yeah so We're talking about early yeah that's that's good to hear man definitely and thank you for taking the time out of your day i know you said you're 11 to 7 guy and you stayed up and you know what I'm saying it catch us on this on this show and bless us with your time man so salute for that as well yeah, man, it's pretty good seeing you, bro. It's been a long Anytime. time. Anytime, absolutely. Long absolutely, time. fam. It was definitely a long yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So. Way overdue, man. Way overdue. And we'll yeah. we'll get more of that story on another time when you visit as well. Like I said, I'd love to have you come back and maybe even host a full episode with us. Not just doing segments, man, but you know, definitely you got a platform, bro, whatever you got going on. I know when the, the nieces and nephews got shit going on, let us know, man. Any tournaments. And oh, all that, yeah. And let us know oh, what yeah. you know, up here and give them some pub. And you know, if they Absolutely. not if they participate, but if they win, let man get some pictures. We throw it up on, on the site too, as well, bro. That's what's up, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, definitely. Anytime, cool. you, anytime you guys will have me, shit. yeah, I got no sure. <laughs> always <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I used to have a Harley, I don't get a Harley anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no damn, uh, you it's jumped into downhill from here. <laughs> you went from got, the Harley to the soccer... space wagon. Yeah, I got I got the soccer dad car now. I got yeah, the uh, <laughs> right. That's what it's yeah. And I know you're into a lot of other things too, man. I know you're a, a gun guy, so I know oh, that yeah. much. Well, so we'll definitely tap into that yeah. deep. Another gun guy, you know, what I'm saying my stuff. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's that's you know, salute all those individuals that stand the up. Boating accident. <laughs> yeah, all my guns are lost at sea. All lost at sea. Yeah, I don't know. All, yeah. of, them. all, all, all of, them. of them. The same, all the whole nine yards. Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, man. It's good to see you, though, man. And more, oh. more perseverance, bro. More perseverance and blessings to you and the family. And I, I believe we, we're going to have life on here soon, too, as well, man. So, you know, it's going to be your competition. Well, I mean, whatever. Yeah, it's going to be a comp. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, she's going to try to, she gonna try to outdo you, watch. She's going to see, she gonna see yeah. this and be like, oh, I right, never mind. I got this, y'all. She's going to try to answer all of the questions I that we that. asked in that in question. Yeah. <laughs> I got I'm dating a five foot Latina. She suffers from Napoleon. So yeah. She, she's, she's going to definitely try to outdo me while she's trying to convince me she wasn't trying to outdo me. But you this know, it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, she won't even see it before she comes on. But, right. She won't even get to see the episode before she comes on. Oh, no, that's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. Won't air yet. Yes, sir, man. What you got for the day, bro? Nothing, actually. I'm about to go slide out to uh, my boy's sticker shop mm-hmm. out in Highland Park. Okay. Reliable graphics. That's that's my boy. He does he does good ass work. Anybody hey, needs him on the show? Yeah, I'm I'll just about to say that. Yeah. Oh. Blow up his business, bro. I mean, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. A, I, I, I've been messing with him for a long, long time, so. Okay. He just recently he got back in shop. touch. That's a sticker shop? Yeah, like, he does vinyls, vinyl wraps, everything. All advertisements, okay. banners, everything. everything. Cars, else. all that shit. Yeah, shirts, the whole nine yards. Okay, oh, well, we're going to reliable graphics. 
Reliable Graphics. Give them a shout out, man. Go ahead. Reliable Graphics in Highland Park. My boy Carlos Cruz. Uh, hit him up on, I, on IG. Reliable Graphics. No, I need to lie. I'm blowed, so I don't remember all the info. It's all, it's all we need. You can find on uh, IG. That's what's up. Y'all go check them out. Reliable Graphics for y'all that hard of hearing. We like to say it multiple times. And it'll be in the description as well, y'all. That's right. Down below. Any last words? Yeah. Any last words, my guy? Man. Nah, I can't think of nothing. <laughs> well, you know, but much love and respect. And, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, just us functioning outside mm -hmm. of this and maybe more on this, whatever. Whatever. Time will tell. That's what's up. For sure. That's what's up. Oh. Well, I'm thing two. I'm thing one. And we have another successful unfiltered convos, and we're going to get back to the session. Thank you, Rug Dog. And we're going to bless you some more um, with more content. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back. What's up, y'all? What's going on? How'd y'all like that conversation? Fully unfiltered, <laughs> as we always bring you. You know, uh, exactly, man. I think we man. got a. We, we we probably gonna get a lot of comments on that one, my guy, because we, we touched on some topics, and you know, unfortunately, um, you know, we would love to have more people on the panel and discussions, like say, you know, those people from those communities um, that we discussed about, like participation trophies, the OnlyFans. You know, stuff like that. We would love to hear, you know, a different side because all of us seem to share a pretty good sentiment. Um, yeah. amongst the so it would always like to, you know, have the other side and let them know we're a show that's balanced. Um, we don't press, you know, our opinions on anybody. So that way it's open platform. Yeah. I'm just like yeah. my guy when he was here, Rug Dog, and it was just wide open. Hey, you know, speak what you feel. Um, there's no judging. That's why it's called unfiltered convo. So yeah. come on, Talk about anything anybody wants to and you make it happen, my guy. So what do you think about it? Oh man, I just hey, I welcome all all walks of life, bro. Make us understand. Cause it's it's that's the issue that we have with a lot of things nowadays is that people don't understand. So you're so quick to be or whatever about what you stand on, but then when you need someone to like you, you should be able to sit down with anybody and explain, well, this is the reason why I feel this way or I, whatever it is. So right. you, all, you only fans, creators, and you people who feel like you need to be recognized for everything that you ain't good at or whatever it is. Come on, talk to us, make us understand, help us understand. We're right. not going to bash you. We're not, there's no judgment. It's just conversations, unfiltered combos. Exactly. Well, but one, I'll put one one warning out there. If you sensitive, wear a coat yeah. or some shit. Because right. it's, you know, that's, you know, sorry. You get, <laughs> right. if, you, if you're too sensitive, don't do not do it, you know. And don't even comment. <laughs> like, and keep it, yeah, I'm keep it over there. But we want to understand. So, yeah. you know, you feel to, yeah. feel free to express yourself. We ain't tripping. You know. Yeah, but I'm not going to apologize. So I'm, oh, I'm no, a, I'm a, a, a sorry, but not sorry. Um, you yeah. know, this is my opinion. Well, this is something, the platform that we built. Um, and I, and it's not going to be, you know, uh, um, we're not going to put limitations on guests. Um, and as long as you can articulate it, you know, a little cuss word here or there, that's, that's good, whatever. But as long as you're being articulate and respectful, you got a platform, you got a mic, you got something, you got a way to go ahead and speak and voice that. 
Um, so anybody, anybody who's willing and not worried about the way they look or what's going on or all the extra stuff that doesn't even need to be in place, you know, come on here and, and, and uh, bless us with your with your thoughts. So that way the world can hear it and enlighten us. I mean, I'm, I'm always learning, bro. Like, you know, I love this show yeah. because new stuff all the time. I don't sit on the throne where I feel like, hey, you know, all my life, I know it. I, I know everything. So, you know, enlighten us. Yeah. So that, you know, there might be something that changes my mind the way I think about it. That's always a exactly. blessing. So, you know, that's exactly. a free will to change our mind. Uh, and you only have that through good debate and good articulation, you know, in conversations and dialogue. So hopefully we're providing that to you guys because I feel we are. I know I get a lot out of it, even, you know, the rewatching value. So definitely um, just keep, keep tapping in and everything's in the description on how to get to us. Yeah, you do not. Don't be scared. Yeah. yeah it's no, all good. We don't Ain't bite. Nobody, yeah, we don't bite. Can't unless even get to you. Yeah, unless you ask. But that's nice. That's the right way. All right. Women, women only. Women only. Women who were born. Women who were born women. <laughs> disclaimer. Disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, without the uh, Yeah. Without the call. The trickery. Yeah. Yeah. All that. <laughs> and hey, you know what? I, I want to hear that too. I want to hear from those that feel that they gotta say, like D said, man. We don't have to say pause because of where your mind's at. You know, like exactly. if, if I'm going there with it then I'm going there with it and you're going to know you don't have to second guess, you know? Um, but if, yeah. if you want individuals and we, I see it a lot and there's no disrespect to it. Once again, it's my opinion and my choice that I don't want to say pause after everything that somebody could take sexually or homophobic sexually or the X, Y, Z's and the WPs yeah. and everything in between, you know, all of that stuff. So, uh, but if you, like I said, man, you got to, a voice come on here and explain it and i'd like to hear that too but um yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah but man shit i think we had a well we always have a good show we always have a good time yeah we in good company so <laughs> you know it's yeah. always yeah. gonna be lovely yeah. yeah man any last words any shout outs any anything to the man, people just shout out for another blessing bro um you know a lot of people um, take that for granted, you know, and if you're here, even if you have something going against you, you're in a bad place right now, guess what? You have a choice to do something about it because you're still here. So uh, I just want to give a shout out to the blessing of that um, in itself to be able to have an opportunity to do something different, to change my circumstances, um, the way I think, the way I live, how I eat, whatever it may be. You know, just a blessing to have that opportunity, my guy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Right. Yes, sir. A lot of that, man. Yeah. Hey, like always, man. Uh, shit. Shout out to my family. Mm-hmm. All, the, all the support. Real all the talk. Support from, you know, all our, all our, all our uh, thanksters out there, man. Mm-hmm. A lot of, a lot of, you're getting a lot of feedback, bro. I mean, I get a lot of phone calls, so you won't mm-hmm. always see it in the comments, even though I tell them, hey, you know, drop that in there for us one time, you know, let the world know how you feel. But uh, right. uh, other than that, man, I mean, I just, I'm just appreciative that uh, I'm here. To, hey, like I like, but like we said earlier, like, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't expected to be here this long. So, you know. Right. Right. So, I yeah. Know. So it's, it's just a blessing to, to get up every morning and, and, and be able you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I live for that right there. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's that's that part, bro. You got you got purpose. I always tell my kids, move with purpose. Yeah, wake uh, up with purpose. Yeah, yeah. With purpose. I used and to get asked, like, why you make your bed all the time? I'm like, man, because that's that that gives me an accomplishment for the day. That's how I step my day off with success. Okay, we making right. the bed. We doing smallest you know, thing. Doing the smallest thing. Yeah. It's not something for other people to always have to, uh, for you to get gratification from other people. It's supposed to be something within yourself that you know, right. that motivates you to get up and go get it. Because I'm right. like, if you want to, if you sit on your shoulders, start to smell like shit. Yep. You smell like shit. The only thing you attracting is flies. Right. I don't know anybody who like flies, right? That's why you're always fanning them, right? So mm-hmm. you know what I mean. We'll talk. Like shit. We'll talk, man. Shit. Yeah. On that note, my guy, 
You know what it is. You know what it yeah. is. We ain't nothing like shit. Bottom line. Yep, exactly. And you already know that today's show was brought to you by. Before you hold a grudge, hold a conversation. It might be a result of a misunderstanding. We out. Sparking blues. <laughs> you know. Things of that nature. Things of that nature. DMP sweatshop. Come on, tell us what you're talking about. Left Coast Kings. And you owe it to yourself.